This summer I made it to Canyonlands National Park on my way back from Denver to California. I stopped in Moab, had some lunch and then headed out to Canyonlands National Park to tackle the legendary Sheffer Trail Road. Here you can see the trail road, it's going down from the top of the rim, deep down into the canyon, it's about a 1500 feet drop. And uh, yeah, the switchbacks are looking scary. And uh, yeah, it's some sort of a legendary iconic road when you come to Canyonlands. If you look over here, you can see the trail um, following the rim line just a little bit below. I'm standing at the Sheffer Trail Overlook, actually. This is not on the Sheffer Trail Road. The Sheffer Trail Road is near the entrance of the Islands in the Sky portion of Canyonlands. So here I am. If you want to go Canyonlands, Sheffer Trail is definitely worth a visit. And I think I found the perfect spot. Unfortunately, camping is not allowed. Otherwise, I would stay here for the night. But uh, it's a picture worthy spot. I love it. So, long ways to go to the bottom, and then I'll probably take Potash Road um, back to Moab. But um, this spot is just perfect. And yeah, with my Super Tram camper and my Ford F 250 Tremor, it's like, I love it. Here you have a great view down the switchbacks and you can see how steep it goes down into the canyon and how narrow the switchbacks are and how close to the cliff really you have to drive if you want to make it down Sheffer Trail. So the uh, switchbacks were some challenging, some were not. I uh, had to make one three-point turn or three-way turn. But uh, other than that, it's really not that challenging. And even with the camper on it, with the weight, it's not a big deal. Um, that SUV that you see over there, um, they're taking their time and that's good. I'll do the same thing. And uh, we had only like uh, three cars so far come up here. And uh, in all situations, uh, there was plenty of space um, to let a car go through. So like here's enough space, um, no worries at all. Now I'm driving down towards this turn in the switchback and you saw just from above how steep it goes down on the other side. Uh, this one, I want to say, can be a little scary because I'm on the inside of that turn and I cannot necessarily see over the hood where the edge is on the right hand side. So this was a little nerve wracking in some situations but all went well because I live to tell the story. So that was the uh, switchback section of the Schaefer Trail. Uh, really cool, I really enjoyed it. It's brutally hot out here, so I can tell. Um, it's over 100 degrees, but uh, this was fun. I had a lot of fun going down, a little sketchy in some areas when you are on the inside um, of the wall with, your, uh, with the driver's side and you're making a right turn where the cliff is. Um, that's really difficult to see. So that was a little sketchy. I had to make only one three-way turn. And uh, other than that, it's really, well, it's a scary trail in a certain way. If you are having uh, fear of heights and uh, driving next to a cliff is not a thing for you, this trail is not for you. But other than that, this trail is fun. So um, for me, my journey continues on a little bit. So Schaefer Trail goes that way. And then I will hit Potash Road and uh, that will take me back to Moab. And uh, then I will see. I have to find a spot for camping for tonight. So let's go.
So you can see this is a really bumpy ride. So I just came from here. And uh, this was not as much fun, but the views are fantastic. And now it looks like it's switching to dirt. So hopefully the softer ground will make the ride a little more enjoyable. So I don't know how much I've driven on Potash Road, I think five, six, seven miles or so. And uh, it's very bumpy, but then you get rewarded with this type of view here. There's another horseshoe bend here. It looks fantastic. Definitely worth all the bumpiness and yeah, the heat too. I mean, getting out of the truck is just awful. It's brutally hot down here. I wish I could jump into the water, but uh, I don't think, I don't want to, I don't want to do this from here. So that's the end of the road, so to speak, the end of Potash Road. Uh, I'm back on asphalt, pavement, and uh, the last 32 miles were very interesting, very bumpy, uh, cool scenery, uh, some private property on the side of the road with like water as blue as in the Caribbean. But uh, yeah, it was really worth all the bumpiness and uh, the heat getting out of the truck. So I hope you enjoyed coming with me a little bit. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so as well. And then I would say I'll see you next time in my next video. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye bye.